use this for y'all money. Me personally, y'all get on my nerves. I really can't do nothing with y'all but take y'all to the mall and make y'all buy it all for real. To be honest. Because I don't want anyone else to be honest. I feel like all men are trash. And it's just like, yeah, I feel like all men are trash. Like I do. I feel like all men are trash. All men just want sex. And I know that's a bad thing to say, but it's just like all y'all just want draws. Like all y'all want draws, you know, and it's just it's pathetic because it's just like what am I worth to you? But you can't be worth just a wallet to me. You see the double standard? Like, men will compare women to, like, draws and to a scoreboard of who smashed the most broads. But women, when we look at guys as just a green nigga or just a damn Rasta or just, you know, a Birkin, you know, <laughs> or it's just like, you know, a, a payment, you know, we're, we're slut-shamed. We're bashed because... They think, oh, we're gold diggers. But, sir, you just, your friends are literally in the group chat talking about how many bitches you smashed this year. But I can't talk about, to my girls, how many niggas pay my rent. The double standard. The double standard. And it's just like, you know, men wonder why I don't indulge in broke men activity. I don't indulge in answering my dms it's nothing for me like jt said the niggas with the money ain't looking for the hoes the hoes be looking for the niggas with money period like i said what i said because it's just like green niggas they're not finna be all thirsty talking about some i'ma treat you right i'ma do this i'ma do that he already know he puts things in lines for his bitch already so for you to say all this and all that, this green nigga right here finna put me on. He not finna be getting on my nerves. He not finna be agging me. He not finna be asking me, can I go half? I was literally on the phone with someone just having a casual conversation. I wasn't even on that type of time. And I was just like, you know, how do you feel about going 50 50 this is our first conversation ever i just really just wanted to what was i doing i think i was just being funny and i was just i was just bored and when i'm bored i'm just like hmm let me see who i want to call so i call you know this this dude up or whatever and i was like you know how do you feel about 50 50 he was like, oh, well, you know, I don't really see nothing wrong with it. Like, my best friend go 50-50 with his, and the best relationships are really 50-50. Now, if you feel that way, baby boy, good for you. Me, on the other hand, nigga, you got me fucked up. Let me tell you why you got me fucked up. First off, you want a woman to clean, cook, wash dishes, take the kids to uh, school, pack their lunches, cook dinner, work still, do everything, you come home, clothes everywhere, wash your clothes, clean up after you like you the other kid too, and then you you want to feel on me 2 a.m. in the morning, and I still got to help you pay rent. No fucking thank you. No, no, no thank you, sir, period. Because it's just like, why do I have to do all of that? Like, uh, I was listening to uh, Pastor Poppy Don, and he was saying how if a man buys a house, the woman makes it a home. If the man buys the groceries, the woman makes the meals. That's 50-50. That makes a home. That makes a house a home. Niggas don't get that. You know, when... You take care of your bitch and your business. Your bitch going to turn into pressure, to be honest. Like, she going to get on her hands and knees because she know that this nigga got me. When a bitch feel kept, she could do 
anything you want her to do, especially a black woman. Black women are really not submissive. You know why? Because we take a lot of shit already. We're not finna take shit from our man. So when you say, oh, we can't break a black woman down. I can't date a black woman because they're not submissive. She's not submissive because you're full of shit. You're full of shit. You, you, you full of shit. You want her to go 50-50. You want her, you want to talk to her any type of way. You want her to, no, 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 sir. No, thank you. So, and then it's just like, I want to talk about the men that be flashing money, be talking, sliding in the DMs. Like, say if you post something, you're like, oh, because I, what I post? I said, dang, like, you know, I just bought a bag in the beginning of the month, and now I'm trying to buy another one at the end with a sad face emoji. So, <laughs> why did I say it like, what a sad face emoji? <laughs> so, he slid up, and he was like, what kind of bag you want? So, I saw him this type of bag. I'm not finna tell y'all hoes because y'all not finna be, be still in the jury. Well, first, I'm gonna tell y'all because I'm gonna get the bag before this uh, episode come out. I wanted a Kurt Geiger bag and it was gonna be like the little uh, XL bags. The one before the Mega. So, you know, it's a it's a 300 and some dollar bag. So, it's not that expensive. Like, I can I can afford it. Um, So, he was like, Oh, you you for real? Uh, yeah, nigga, you thought it was a fucking game? Like, yeah. <laughs> so I saw him in the bag, and he said that. And I saw him the screenshot in the link, because, bitch, I ain't fucking playing. You told me what the fuck bag I want. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You could either send me it on Cash App, or you could send me the receipt. Mm, and I could send you somebody's address to put it on. So, yeah. And he was, he texted me back. And no, 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 what he said. He was like, he sent me something back. And I said, what is this? He was like, oh, I thought we was just sending stuff that we wanted to buy for each other. I said, no. I said, then you tell me what kind of bag I want. He was like, for real, shorty, I ain't really on, t- on that type of time. I just want to bleep. And then he was like, um, but you could find you one of these green niggas because they ain't on that type of time. I got a whole baby. And he sends me a picture of his baby. And he was like, I just really want to bleep. You just so fine. Ew. <laughs> just ew. Like, that is nasty. That is nasty. Why would you say that to someone you barely even know? And then first of all, I'm not even concerned about you not buying a bag well i really am i'm concerned because it's just like you have the audacity to slide in my dms telling me what kind of bag i want i send you the bag and you talking about you not on that type of time nigga did you have a fucking concussion those two seconds of you saying what kind of bag i want like nigga so it's just like i'm i'm confused because it's just like you just asked me what kind of bag i want like what so and then it's just like you're sending pictures of your fucking daughter to just random women you don't know who they are you don't know if they're a serial killer you don't know if that would have just made me snap and just be like, oh, yeah, let me meet you somewhere. Where's your address? And just kill you. Like, uh, you don't think that way, you know? So it's just like, what is wrong with you? Like, sir, excuse me, are you, are you okay? Are, are you honestly okay? <laughs> like, get out of here. And then he was, he said he was 20, too young, too young too young i'm sorry you have to be older to deal with me you honestly have to you have to be older you have to be wise it's nothing wrong with older men it's nothing wrong with older men i'm just saying like no thank you no 
because it's it's going to be an age barrier somewhere and it's just like I'm going to say something that might piss you off or I might do things that you don't understand and it's too young for you but it's it's mature for me. Mm -mm. And then I had this other guy I was on FaceTime. He called me in the middle of something. What I was doing, I forgot. And he called me, and I had said yes. And he was like, oh, he was like, I just got this drop. And I said, oh, yeah, that's good for you. And he showed me money on FaceTime. So I was like, is that for me? Like, don't be sh- the The moral of the story is... Don't be showing your money. Don't be showing your goods. Don't be showing stuff. Don't be talking about what kind of bag you want. Well, you're not for real. Because, bitch, I'm for real. You slide up. You you show me money. Is that for me? Is you going to get it for me? I don't play I don't play like that. No, I don't play like that. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I'm a straight savage. What I got to lose out here? To be honest. Like, no. So, he shows me the money I'm talking about. Is it for me? He said, he said, no, nah, I was just playing. Well, now nah, he said, what? And then he was like, no, nah, I'm just playing. He was like, I just got paid. I said, okay, me too. And then I was just like, you know, um, I said, don't play with me unless you're going to um, send me something. And he was like, you're not here. He live in Arizona. So I was like, I don't have to be physically with you because I have to work. People have jobs. He doesn't understand. His brain doesn't click that way that people have jobs and people just can't go and visit other people. And what I'm what I'm going to visit you with, to be honest, like you stay with other people. And I'm not going to come way down there just to, because mm, I'm not on that type of time. I, if I go somewhere, I go somewhere to have fun, go shop. And sleep. No, thank you. I'm good on that, boo. That's what I ha- I have. I have gadgets and gadgets for. Thank you. But it's just like, he was like, oh, you're not going to, um, what do you say? He was like, oh, so you're not going to come down here or not? Like, no, no. Then it's just like, you, you think I'm going to go somewhere where you're at? And you don't even treat me good where I'm at. I don't care if this is over the phone when it's really not nothing. You either going to send me some coins or you not. And it's just like not to sound like a beggy bitch or not to sound like a, um, what is it? Like, a um, I can't remember, but it's just, like, that's really how I be doing them. Like, honestly, like, don't be showing me stuff. You know, don't be wasting my time because I'm really not on this type of time. You either going to pay for something or you not. Get the fuck out the way if you not, honestly, because what the fuck are you here for? I have bills to pay, okay? It's the 29th. You flash the money in my face for what? For what? And you don't want me to ask for nothing. That's just like eating food in front of a dog. And you don't think he going to come by your lap and ask for none? You fucking stupid, you know? So I cussed him out or whatnot. And I was just like, get the fuck off my phone with that weak ass shit. Because to be honest, like, bitch, if you're not going to pay for nothing, fuck out of here with all that shit. Like, I'm not here to love. I'm not finna pimp a nigga. I'm damn sure not finna be a submissive for a nigga or talk to a nigga nice because you not my fucking nigga at the end of the day. And if you ain't paying for shit, I'm definitely not finna talk to your ass nice. And I said, I said that shit. And I meant that shit too. Ladies, when you dealing with these dudes and they really just want to play with you and you really not on that type of time, put your motherfucking foot down. First off, put your motherfucking foot on these motherfuckers' neck. First off, because, bitch, you pressure at the end of the fucking day. Um, But it's just like, nah, I'm not finna let nobody treat me any type of way. I'm not finna let a nigga play mind games on me. First off, I will run 360 circles on your ass before you ever could just dog me the fuck out. And that's for any nigga. I do not care. But, ladies, don't... If you know your worth, 
don't let these niggas talk to you any type of way. Don't let them play you. Don't let them do none of that. Because at the end of the day, baby girl, you're only hurting your damn self. You're only letting yourself get in the way of your bag. And that's just straight up facts. These green niggas out here are ready to pay. These green niggas are ready out here to take care of somebody's daughter. And that's on period. You find you your prince charming, uh, sis. Okay? Find you your prince charming. Because I kid you.